In this video, I'll teach you how to make this presentation using PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint from Microsoft 365, so let's get started. But first, I want to show you a very cool tool that I've been using lately called Pixlr. It's a free online photo editor with AI image generator, templates and design tools like an AI background remover, generative expand and more. For example, for the presentation that I'm doing today, I wanted to generate some AI images. So just write your prompt in the description field and a few seconds later, you'll get four variations so you can download and add to your projects. I also like the generative expand feature where you upload an image, select a ratio and the software expands it with AI. I was blown away with the generative transform tool, which automatically separates the image into layers so you can move, resize or rotate an object or a subject freely. There's also a lot of templates that you can use and other tools to remove backgrounds or to edit a batch of images, which is super helpful. So make sure to try it out on pixlr.com and let me know which one was your favorite feature. You can pretty much use your own colors, but here I'm gonna leave the codes for the ones that I'm using today and also the font, which is Cascadia Code. All right, so the first thing that we'll do is we're gonna right click on the slide and click on Format Background. And here we're gonna select a gradient field. Now let's change the type to Radial and also change the direction to Center. You should only have two handles on the gradient stops. So if you have more than two, just drag them down to get rid of them. For the one on the right, I'm gonna select the color black and for the one on the left, I'm gonna select a dark gray. And now I'll just move them closer to each other so we have a spotlight effect. Let's select a rounded rectangle from the shapes panel and let's insert it into the slide like this. With the yellow dot here at the top, you can change the roundness of the corners. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit to the left. Now let's duplicate this shape with Ctrl D. I'll move it up slightly and I'm gonna make it smaller. This will be the flap of the folder. So let's adjust the roundness of the corners and also move it down slightly. Holding Shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select both of the shapes, go to Shape Format, click on Merge Shapes and then click on Union. Amazing, so now we have the back of the folder. Let's get rid of the outline by going to Shape Outline and selecting No Outline. And I'll also change the color of the field to the darkest brown. Let's go to the shape panel again and select a regular rectangle. And I'm gonna insert it right here. This will be a sheet of paper. So let's just rotate it slightly and change the color to white. Now let's click on shape effects, go to shadow and select a center shadow. Right click on it and select format shape. Let's go to the effects option, which is this one right here. Go to shadow and here let's increase the transparency slightly. Now let's duplicate this rectangle with Ctrl D. And if we rotate it a little bit, we just created a second sheet of paper. Let's insert a new rounded rectangle. This will be the cover of our folder. So just make sure that it has the same width as the back. For this one, I'm gonna change the color to the lighter brown. I'll also get rid of the outline by going into shape outline and selecting no outline. And I'll also add a center shadow. I'll just adjust everything very quickly so everything's visible. But now you can go to insert, click on text box. The font that I'm using is Cascadia code. And I'll just write something here for the flap. If you hold control and drag that element to a different position, you'll duplicate it. So now it's very easy to just replace the text to create the rest of our content. Amazing. So now let's create a top secret stamp. Let's insert a rectangle like this, go to shape outline and let's select a red color. To change the width of the stroke, go to shape outline again, click on weight. And here I'm gonna select six points. If you double click on the shape, you'll be able to write in it. So I'll just write the word top secret and change the font. I'll also change the color of the text to red and I'll make it larger using this button. Now we can get rid of the fill color. So just go to shape fill and select no fill. 
Holding shift on your keyboard, select the title, which in this case is Sherlock Holmes, and I'll just make it bold. I'll also rotate it slightly and align all the elements. Now it's time to add an image. I'll just move it to this area right here, and I'll click on the drop down from crop, select aspect ratio, and select one by one. I'll make it smaller and then select this preset right here to give it a frame. This is looking really good, so now let's go to insert, click on icons, and here we're gonna look for a paper clip. Let's select this one right here and click on insert. And now we just need to rotate it and put it right here. Now that the design is done, let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D, select everything and group it with Ctrl G. I'll zoom out so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And holding Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard, let's make everything larger like this. Let's ungroup this with Ctrl Shift G. And now holding Shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select the paper clip, the image, all of the text, and also the cover of the folder. And let's drag it down to the gray area like this. Again, holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select both of the sheets of paper and holding control and shift, you're gonna make everything smaller. In the slide preview on the left, you'll be able to see exactly what you're doing. And we should see a little bit of the back of the folder and the two sheets of paper. With that slide selected, go to transitions and click on morph. And now you should have something like this. All right, let's go ahead and create a new slide. And here I'm gonna change the background color to the darkest brown. Let's go to insert, select shapes. And here we're gonna pick a circle. Holding shift to make it perfect, let's insert it into the slide. Let's get rid of the outline and change the fill color to red. Holding control on your keyboard, let's drag it to the opposite side like this. And now let's select the line from the shapes panel. Holding shift on your keyboard, let's insert it from the center of the circle to the right edge of the slide. Let's go to shape outline and select the red color. And I'll also change the weight of the stroke to 4.5 points. Great, so now holding control on your keyboard, let's drag this line to a different position to duplicate it, and I'll just connect it to the other circle. Now, let's copy the first line that we did with control C, go to the next slide, and click control V to paste it. Holding shift on your keyboard, let's make it larger to the left like this. I'll also move it to the left slightly, holding shift. Let's go back to the previous slide and select this circle right here, copy it with Ctrl C. Let's go to the next slide and paste it with Ctrl V and I'll just move it to the right like this. I'm gonna copy this line right here with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V. And for this one, I'll just make it vertical so it starts from the center of the circle down to the bottom edge of the slide. Great, so now let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and holding shift on your keyboard, let's move this line up. And I'll also change the left handle of this line to make a diagonal like this. All right, let's go to the third slide, go to transitions, click on push, and let's change the effect options to from right. And for the fourth slide, we're going to apply the push transition again. And for this one, let's make sure that the effect option is from bottom. So now you should have something like this. To fill out the slides with content, I just copy pasted elements from the previous slides into the other ones to create new placeholders for texts and for images. And I just use the same treatment for all the text and images to keep it consistent. To add the final details, which are the scribbles, go to draw, select a pen, click on the arrow right here to select the color and change the thickness. These are the settings that I'm using. 
And now you just have to draw a few scribbles. This might take a little bit of practice, but I just added some lines, some circles, or you could also add some arrows or pretty much any scribble that you like. Now let's change to a cursor again so we can select them. Go to animations, click on replay. And now let's just click on the animation pane right here. Right click on the element that's showing up, click on effect options. Here, let's change the timing to start with previous. Let's change the duration to one second. And finally, click on OK and apply the same animation to all of the scribbles and you're done. You just created an amazing presentation that looks like an investigation case using PowerPoint. Make sure to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lurrutia PPT. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.